luck. You are probably questioning where I've been all this time. Yeah, um, as you can see, I'm not quite dead yet. However, it has been two months since I last uploaded anything, really. But you kind of seen that I fucked up the car. Yeah. You know what? I'm not going to waste much time here. We're actually going to take another round around. I, it's been a while since I've done the last, uh, my last vlog. And I know a couple of people uh, really liked seeing this. So, what we're going to do is take our bike over here, which hopefully is actually going to survive the trip. It's not really in good shape, but hopefully it'll work. Um, and first we're going to actually go to the beach, since it's sunny outside. But first, we have to put some air in the tires. All right, we need some air. Now the thing is, first we have to check what kind of air I need. Oh well, the pressure of the air. Which you can just handily so do, right here. 36 PSI on the front. And I think the back one is actually a little bit more, given that there is usually a little bit more, yeah, there is usually a little bit more weight on the back, so the pressure is also increased, 41 PSI. seem to have any paper. Oh well, dirt hands it is. Zooming up, boats! I am starting to lose sunlight over here. Hopefully I will have enough to talk about what I want to talk. Welcome to Aveiro, more specifically Rio de Aveiro. This is actually a part I've never been to before. This kind of new for me as well. I usually go to the spot right over there behind the camera where I take photos and stuff, but yeah, this is actually not too bad. They've built a new path here. But okay, um, yeah, main question. Mike, why haven't you uploaded videos in two months now? Something like that? Um, here's the thing, I'm not going to show good code too much. My life has been absolute fucking shit. If you go back through the videos on my channel and see the upload dates, you can kind of see a pattern there. It started around September 2017, where I've had bigger periods of not uploading videos anymore. And that just so happens to coincide with something that happened in my real life. My mother had an operation to the leg. And I kind of asked for some time there explaining what was going on, that I was going to take some weeks off. Yeah, it turned out that it's not going to be just some weeks. I'm not going to make it too much of a soft story, but let's just say it didn't go so well. The operation didn't go so well. And even now she's still very much dependent on, well, being driven around because she can't really walk that well. Of course, that alone wouldn't be too much of a problem. Any, well, anyhow, I would have to spend my time at home, right? But the problem is... Yeah, the thing about the driving part, she can't really walk. So she is very much dependent on the car right now. And as you saw in the intro, the car isn't doing too well, but that's, that's not the, the first problem it had. December, I had, I had taken it to the shop to uh, get the engine cleaned. Didn't really want to start off that well after, you know, water or gasoline engines don't mix too well. The shop tried to start it afterwards, but didn't see that the car was in first gear and sent it into a wall. Yay! It took about a week or so. Thankfully, the shop did pay for it all, so uh, the car got repaired. And that was that. Except two weeks after, it started having electrical problems. And I might even show some pictures that I had of the uh, grounding cable of the battery burning up, essentially. I've talked about it on Discord and Twitter, I haven't really talked about it on video, because I haven't really been doing any videos, but... Yeah, um, I've been essentially spending a month or so trying to figure out what was wrong with the car, and it didn't go so well. After a month, finally figured out what it was. The repairs were not, um, not cheap. 
And finally, after having the car crash, after having the car almost burn up due to electrical problems and me thinking that everything was fine, I crashed the car. <laughs> my first crash ever, I have to say, I, I, I have my driving license for four years now and I've never crashed a car before. Except for the first time that I crashed it and the repairs are pretty much going to cost as much as the car is worth. Thankfully the car does run somewhat, although it did again have electrical problems. Turns out the battery wasn't well installed and was actually shorting out by touching onto the hood, but uh, Jesus fucking Christ. That of course compounded with issues with YouTube in general. Honestly for the first month I just didn't really want to play Warfront anymore. I was actually thinking of quitting Warfront. After playing it for like three, four years now, I was honestly thinking about quitting Warfront simply because I, I wasn't really having fun with the game anymore. Warfront lately has been taking the path of putting out update after update after update, but not really fixing the car mechanics. And I'm not the first one to talk about this. I'm not going to be the last one to talk about this. There were multiple people actually lately, known people that have been quitting War Thunder. Jaron Doom has quit War Thunder. Uh, Mysterious Sweet has quit streaming uh, recently. I think I've seen it in this video yesterday or two days ago. A couple of other people that have also been shying away from War Thunder. It's kind of a trend when multiple content creators start shying away from the game. And essentially I didn't play for a month. I honestly, with all the real life stuff going on and YouTube being the shit show that it is right now, I just didn't touch the game. I, I probably didn't play War Thunder for like a solid month or so. Thankfully I have kind of gotten back into it. Not fully. Um, the aircraft parts, I still don't like aircraft, at least not in air realistic mode. I haven't touched aircraft in months now, only to play ground RB mode, because I absolutely fucking love ground RB. And I've been having a lot of fun actually playing the French tanks. Is it going to be enough though? I'm guessing, uh, let's just cut to the point. I am not going to quit War Thunder. Gotcha. <laughs> no, I'm not going to quit War Thunder. I was thinking about quitting War Thunder up until a month ago. Then I discovered the French tanks and I've discovered them actually quite fun in tanks. I, I have fun in tanks. So I'm going to continue making Warfront videos with an asterisk. Here's the thing. I've, I've done plenty of videos before about aircraft, right? Aircraft stats and stuff like, aircraft stats and stuff like that with my uh, specialized software to take the stats. I'm not going to do that anymore. I am not going to do aircraft reviews or aircraft stats anymore. If I do aircraft reviews, it's going to be in the context of ground forces. So instead of doing air RB reviews, I'm going to do reviews in terms of how effective it is at taking out tanks, at uh, taking out enemy aircraft maybe, in low altitude fights over the battlefield, stuff like that. Essentially aircraft, but related to the ground striking capabilities of them. And I'm going to switch over more to tanks. I have actually a video plan that I'm working on currently, uh, which I have been promising for the past three years or so so kind of a little hint there it's going to go up soon tm-ish hopefully hopefully within the next week i have no idea how life is going to treat me in the next couple of days so it might just be that i'm not going to, up to be uploading again for another month i really don't know life has been fucking off like that um, but hopefully that's going to go out soon Panzer Mädels is also something that i've promised that i have to do i'm going to do a full playthrough of the is2 not quite sure yet if I'm actually going to do it as a stream, just a solid six hours of streaming the game, or if I'm going to do it in, in video parts, again as a series, series two, stuff like that. Not too sure on that, maybe you can tell me in the comments down below if you would rather see it as uh, separate videos, if you would see it as a single video, or if you would like a stream, and then the stream you recorded to be cut into videos. And of course the Russian pronouncing, pronouncing video. Um, I. I I may have made a blunder promising on the how to pronounce German aircraft video that at 5,000 likes I would do a how to pronounce Russian aircraft names video. The thing is, at the time I didn't, I never imagined to actually reach 5,000 likes. And well, it happened. The problem is I don't speak Russian. I don't speak a word of Russian. Well, maybe Sukabiliat. I could do a fake Russian accent, maybe. Or I could actually try to learn Russian, but how is that going to go? I don't know. Finally, I... Well, this is going to sound really cheesy, but I actually want to apologize to you guys for not having uploaded for the past two months. I know you guys have been worried. Some of you have been on my Discord, which by the way, Discord represent, hold on, hold on. Ah, Discord represents my partner hoodie. 
This is totally done to disco, by the way. It's kind of, it's, it's a nice place. We have 2,000 people over there. It's been just the memes lately. But yeah, I, I do want to apologize to people for not having uploaded for the past two months, especially to my Patreons. I feel really sorry about that. I kind of feel bad, actually. I kind of feel bad because the guys on Patreon have been supporting me. I, I have guys that have been supporting me for years now, ever since I created Patreon. And I feel like a real asshole for not having uploaded anything in two months, but you guys continue to support me. It, it feels like... Oops, sorry. It, it kind of feels like I robbed you. Which is a really shitty feeling. It's a really, really shitty feeling. So you know what? I'm actually going to do something special. Um, I haven't really used the platform itself as of late, but I'm going to do an event for the patrons only, maybe. And maybe a um, couple early days access of, the, of a video. I can't really do anything other than that. I, I do want to, to pay you guys back for still continuing to, um, to support me, even after having been dead, essentially, for the past two months. But I'm not really sure how to do it. It's been a situation I've never been in. I've never thought that I would be gone for two months due to personal reasons, due to YouTube reasons, due to game reasons. And it's a really shitty feeling. Last point, um, yeah, you guys can probably see that the video is quite a bit nicer quality now. And also, the sound. I have upgraded my equipment, cut substantially. I now have a proper, really nice video camera, which I have actually taken more photos with. I should actually maybe make an Instagram account for all the photos I've posted. I'm going to show some, some photos on the screen right now of all, the, of all the pictures I've been taking lately. It's, yeah, it's another hobby of mine. I've been taking a passion to taking photography, which just so happens I'm in the perfect city for it. Like, honestly, Aver is fucking gorgeous. So maybe, maybe if I create an Instagram account, I'm going to link it in the description down below. Although no promises I will before the video goes up. And secondly, I've also got a microphone. I'm not sure if I can actually see it, but yeah. I have a lapel mic now, which hopefully is still recording actually, I have no idea if it is. Yeah, the sound you're hearing is not from, uh, from the camera itself. The camera itself doesn't have bad sound, but it doesn't have any kind of wind protection, so you do hear the hissing of the wind from the camera audio. Uh, but hopefully this will not have any wind sound, this will be much better quality than trying to record with my uh, telephone or with the camera itself. And yeah, I can make some professional videos now, yay! I have actually been planning to do kind of a documentary about the city, just to show you guys the place that I live in. Aveiro is a small city. Well, small. It's actually a pretty well-known city in, uh, in Portugal. It's called the Veneza of, uh, of Portugal. We have plenty of canals all throughout the city. As you can see by the water in the background right now, that's the Rio de Aveiro. Um, it's, it's a pretty place. It's a really pretty place. I can go to the beach. I can go pretty much everywhere and show you what you can see here. Kind of like a touring, gu touring guide, tourist guide, if you ever decide to come here. It's pretty much the best thing I can do to pay the city back for, well, having me here for the past 17 years. I've been stuck here for quite a while. I really have been stuck here for quite a while. But anyways, lads, we are going to close this vlog off with a nice view of the sunset. I'm going to show it in, I'm going to show it to you in a bit. Hopefully you have enjoyed this vlog. Hopefully um, you can forgive me for not having uploaded anything in the past two months. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry, it's, it's, it feels shitty and I hope I can come back, but again, life has been kind of a mess, so don't expect anything too regular. Hopefully I can do some videos, yeah, chances are I won't, I don't know, life has been chaotic. Anyways, lads, thank you for watching this video, I will see you in the next one and, as always, my name is Marcus Boom and I'll see you in the next video, bye! So